Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Decision 2024. Tonight, we decide the presidency of the United States. Every citizen of the United States will decide their next leader for the next four years. It has finally come down to it, folks. But before we get into the night, let's go ahead and look at the approval rating of President Joe Biden. 47% approve of the president and and 49% disapprove. That is the current um, status of the approval rating of the president. Of Governor DeSantis, who is running against the president tonight, he is approved of 56% and disapproved of 46%. Governor DeSantis sitting in a comfortable position there. And here we go. It is 7 p.m. in the east, and polls have just closed in six states. And we can make our first projection of the night in the state of Indiana. In the state of Indiana, when all the votes are counted, CyberPolitics projects that the state of Indiana will go to Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is the projected winner in the state of Indiana with 11 electoral votes. In the state of Kentucky as well, the projected winner of those eight electoral votes in Kentucky is Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is the projected winner in Kentucky. In the state of Vermont, Joe Biden, the incumbent president, is the projected winner of those three electoral votes in Vermont. And we have some key race alerts as well. In the state of Georgia, too early to call. We don't have anything out of Georgia yet, as you can see. In South Carolina, too early to call. Right now, Ron DeSantis leads with 13% of the vote in at this hour. In the Commonwealth of Virginia, it's too early to call. 1% one, 1 of the vote in. And Joe Biden leads very confidently in the state of, or rather the Commonwealth of Virginia. And looking at the race to 270, DeSantis with 19 electoral votes. President Biden with three electoral votes. You need 270 to win the presidency. As you can see throughout the night, we are going to be coloring in states red when they've gone for DeSantis and blue when they have gone for Joe Biden. And Joe Biden is now the apparent winner in, or the projected winner, excuse me, in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Joe Biden will win the Commonwealth of Virginia with 3% of the vote in. He's lead, winning there by a very comfortable margin. And this just in, South Carolina will go to Ron DeSantis. Nine electoral votes into the column of Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis uh, winning very comfortably in South Carolina with 18% of the vote in at this hour. In the road to 270, DeSantis 28, Biden 16. The race to 270 is unfolding. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is 7.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and the polls have now closed in three states. Those states are North Carolina, Ohio, and West Virginia. In the state of West Virginia, the projected winner at this hour is Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is the projected winner in the state of West Virginia and the key race alert in Ohio 100 uh, excuse me one percent of the vote in in Ohio President Joe Biden leads comfortably at least for now in the state of Ohio that's an early lead for Biden in Ohio and in North Carolina uh, too early to call nothing in from North Carolina so far and the race to 270 unfolds DeSantis with 32 Biden with 16. You need 270 to win the presidency all night. We are going to be looking at that one magic number, which is 270, folks. We're going to be looking at that one number, 270. And in Georgia, we have an update. 13% uh, of the vote in. Ron DeSantis is leading. It is too close to call in Georgia right now, but Ron DeSantis is leading Biden in the state of Georgia. And here it is, 8 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have reached our largest poll closing of the night. And we have projections. One from the volunteer state of Tennessee, which at this hour is projected to go to Ron DeSantis. 11 electoral votes. And in Alabama, 9 electoral votes projected to go to Ron DeSantis. 
In Mississippi, six electoral votes projected to go to Ron DeSantis. In Oklahoma, seven electoral votes projected to go to Ron DeSantis. In Illinois, no surprise here, 19 electoral votes in Illinois. Joe Biden is the projected winner in the state of Illinois. In the District of Columbia, three electoral votes from the District of Columbia, no surprise here either, projected to go to Joe Biden. In the state of Maryland, 10 electoral votes, no surprise for Joe Biden. In Delaware, no surprise for Joe Biden. New Jersey, for Joe Biden. Connecticut, for Joe Biden. Rhode Island, for Joe Biden. Massachusetts, for Joe Biden. And looking at the state of Missouri, it is too early to call. Ron DeSantis leads there pretty comfortably with 2% uh, of the vote now in. Uh, too early to call in Missouri. In Pennsylvania, it is too early to call in Pennsylvania. 0% of the vote in. Nothing in yet from Pennsylvania. In New Hampshire, it is too early to call. Biden leads pretty comfortably in New Hampshire. In Maine, too early to call. Biden leads there as well. And in the state of Florida, too close to call, 87% of the vote in in Florida, 30 crucial electoral votes. Ron DeSantis leads pretty comfortably in the state of Florida. Uh, too close to call in Florida. We'll let you know what goes on uh, in Florida. And with the race to 270 unfolding, President Biden has 87 electoral votes. Governor DeSantis has 65. The race to 270 continues. The magic number we're looking for tonight remember is 270 the popular vote does not matter what matters is 270 that number that both candidates are desperately looking for that is the only number that matters and here's an update from ohio 45 percent of the vote in in ohio ron DeSantis is leading in this crucial rust belt state that has been trending red over the last few years ron DeSantis is leading there right now in the state of North Carolina, 34% of the vote in. Ron DeSantis is leading Biden there as well. You can see 51.5 uh, to 48.5 in uh, North Carolina, 34% of the vote in. 16 crucial electoral votes there in North Carolina. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 8.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and the polls have now closed in the state of Arkansas. Speaking of which, the state of Arkansas at this hour is projected to go to Ron DeSantis. No surprise from Arkansas. In the race to 270, Ron DeSantis, 71 electoral votes. Pre President Joe Biden, 85 electoral votes. Remember, we're looking for 270. And we can now project that the House of Representatives, with 67% of the votes in, will be controlled by the Republican Party. The Republican Party will retain control of the House of Representatives. And in the Senate, uh, we do not yet project control of the United States Senate as it stands right now. 56% of the vote in uh, for the United States Senate. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 9 p.m. on the East Coast. And the polls have just closed in several states. And in the state of New York, 28 electoral votes. Big prize. The projected winner is Joe Biden. In the state of Louisiana, the projected winner is Ron DeSantis. No project, no, uh, uh, no surprise there. In the state of Louisiana, in the state of Kansas, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. In the state of Nebraska, four out of five of those electoral votes in Nebraska have gone to Ron DeSantis. In the state of South Dakota, the the projected winner is Ron DeSantis. No surprise from North Dakota, Ron DeSantis. And in Wyoming, Ron DeSantis, as well as the state of Colorado for Joe Biden and the state of New Mexico for Joe Biden. No surprise from either one of those. In the state of Michigan, too early to call. 101% 1 of the vote in, excuse me. 15 electoral votes, 52.5 for Joe Biden, 47.5 for Ron DeSantis. Too early to call in Michigan. In Wisconsin, less than 1% of the vote in, actually. 10 electoral votes there in Wisconsin. Ron DeSantis leads Joe Biden in Wisconsin. In Minnesota, Joe Biden has a huge lead in Minnesota with only 1% of the vote in. We do expect that to shrink overnight, though. 
And in Texas, too early to call in Texas, Ron DeSantis leads with 16% of the vote in. And in uh, Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District, it is too close to call. 26% of the vote in there. Ron DeSantis is leading by a narrow margin. In the state of Arizona, uh, too early to call. 4% of the vote in in Arizona. And um, Biden is leading in Arizona right now. And in the race to 270, 98 for Ron DeSantis, 130 for Joe Biden. Joe Biden now takes the lead in the race to 270. Remember, 270 is the magic number that we are looking for for the presidency. And we can now project that Ron DeSantis will win the great state of Missouri with 10 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis is the projected winner there with 47% of the vote in. A pretty strong lead there in Missouri. In the race of 270, Ron DeSantis has 108 electoral votes. President Joe Biden has 130 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis is catching up in the race to 270. And in the state of Texas, ladies and gentlemen, 40 electoral votes. The projected winner is Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis will win the state of Texas. Pretty comfortable lead there in the state of Texas with 34% of the vote in in the state of Texas. And in the race to 270, Ron DeSantis has 148 electoral votes. President Biden has 130 electoral votes. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 10 p.m. on the East Coast. And the polls have closed in the four states of Iowa, Montana, Nevada, and Utah. In the state of Montana, four electoral votes. The projected winner is Ron DeSantis. The projected winner is Ron DeSantis in uh, Montana. In Iowa, too early to call. 2% of the vote in. Ron DeSantis leads Biden in Iowa. In Utah, the project, uh, excuse me, that is too early to call. 2% of the vote in. Ron DeSantis has a huge lead. And in Nevada, 6% uh, of the vote in. Too early to call. Joe Biden leads Ron DeSantis in Nevada. And in the race to 270, 152 for Ron DeSantis, 130 for Joe Biden. Remember, 270 is the magic number that we are looking for. And in the state of Ohio, we can project that Ron DeSantis will win the state of Ohio. And it's 70 elect 17 electoral votes, excuse me, 17 electoral votes in Ohio. 59% of the vote in, and Ron DeSantis wins the state of Ohio. And in the race to 270, 170 for DeSantis, 130 for Biden. Um, we also acknowledge that Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District has gone to Ron DeSantis. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 11 p.m. in the east, and the polls have closed in the states of California, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, and Hawaii. In the state of Idaho, the projected winner is Ron DeSantis. As expected, in the state of Hawaii, the projected winner is Joe Biden. No surprise from the state of Hawaii. In the state of California, the biggest electoral prize in the nation, California and its 54 electoral votes will go to Joe Biden. In the state of Oregon, the projected winner is Joe Biden. In the state of Washington, the projected winner is Joe Biden. And here's the state we weren't previously able to call, the state of Utah, for Ron DeSantis. And in the race to 270, 180 for Ron DeSantis, 208 for President Joe Biden. The race to 270 continues. And in the state of Florida, ladies and gentlemen, the home state of Governor DeSantis, uh, the projected winner, of course, is Governor DeSantis. 97% of the vote in Ron DeSantis will win the state of Florida. And the state of Iowa as well will go to Ron DeSantis. 51% uh, 50, of the vote in in Iowa now. Ron DeSantis will take the state of Iowa, or rather carry. In, and with the race to 270, Ron DeSantis with six, uh, 216 electoral votes. President Joe Biden with 208 electoral votes. No clear winner yet. And in the state of North Carolina, ladies and gentlemen, the projected winner is Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis will narrowly carry the state of North Carolina with 93% of the vote in in North Carolina. 
And in the race of 270, 232 for Ron DeSantis, 208 for Joe Biden. If Joe Biden wins all the remaining states, except for Alaska, including Alaska, then he'll get the same amount of electoral votes that he did four years ago in 2020. And breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, 12.35 a.m. Uh, and on the East Coast, and there is no election winner yet. Votes are still being counted in this historic presidential election. But we have some updates. From Arizona, 87% of the vote in. Joe Biden is still narrowly leading in the state of Arizona. Lord knows which way that'll go when all the votes are counted. In the state of Pennsylvania... 90% of the vote in, and it is too close to call. Look how razor thin it is, but Ron DeSantis is leading in Pennsylvania. In the state of Michigan, it's too close to call. 92% of the vote in in Michigan. Ron DeSantis is leading in the state of Michigan. In the state of Wisconsin, uh, Ron DeSantis, uh, it's too close to call in the state of Wisconsin, but Ron DeSantis leads by an entire percentage point over Joe Biden. 97% of the vote in in Wisconsin and in the state of Minnesota okay it it was too close to call but it has now been called for Joe Biden with 96 percent of the vote in Joe Biden is rejected winner in the state of Minnesota and in the race to 270 218 for Biden 232 for DeSantis the race to 270 continues uh, we have okay it is now 1 a.m on the east coast and the polls have closed in the state of alaska alaska will be the last state to close its polls tonight in the state of alaska too early to call with eight percent of the vote in ron desantis is the projected winner uh, excuse me ron desantis is leading um pretty significantly in the state of alaska three electoral votes from the state of alaska but in the state of Georgia, ladies and gentlemen, this is a flip from 2020, but in the state of Georgia, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. He will narrowly win the state of Georgia with 99% of the vote in in the state of Georgia. Ron DeSantis has flipped the state of Georgia. 248 for DeSantis now, 218 for Biden in the race to 270. Uh, you might notice we colored in Georgia dark red as it has flipped into the column of Ron DeSantis. And in the state of Arizona, ladies and gentlemen, the projected winner is Ron DeSantis. This is another flip. Ron DeSantis has narrowly flipped the state of Arizona with 99% of the vote in. And in the race to 270, 259 for DeSantis, 218 for Biden. Ron DeSantis is closing in on 270. And it is now 2.17 a.m. on the East Coast, and please stand by for a major projection. Ron DeSantis is projected to be the next president of the United States, winning the crucial battleground state of Pennsylvania. De Ron DeSantis has won the state of uh, Pennsylvania very narrowly over Joe Biden with 99% of the vote in. And Alaska has gone to Ron DeSantis as well, apparently, and the state of Nevada as well. And in the race to 270, here it is. Ron DeSantis, um, 281 electoral votes. Biden, 224. Uh, of course, Ron DeSantis has been elected president of the United States. And then um, Maine, three of those electoral votes have gone to Joe Biden, one to Ron DeSantis. And New Hampshire has gone to Ron DeSantis as well. And Ron DeSantis has 286 electoral votes now. President Joe Biden has 227 electoral votes. And uh, President Biden has called to concede, we understand. Uh, in the state of Wisconsin, the projected winner is Ron DeSantis. Yet another flip for Ron DeSantis. Uh, the president-elect will win that as well. 296 electoral votes for the president-elect, 227 for the president. And look at this, in the state of Michigan, we can project that Joe Biden will carry the state of Michigan, and it's 15 electoral votes. Biden will carry Michigan very narrowly. And that is the final map right there. Uh, President-elect DeSantis has 296 electoral votes. President Biden has 242 electoral votes. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I think I'm starting to lose my voice now. 
Um, if you have, if you liked this video, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so I can keep creating similar content and better content. Thank you guys so much for your support. Peace out.